An iron smelting site believed to belong to the Iron Age was recently discovered in Ileife, Oshun State. The archaeologist who made the discovery says this is proof that the ancient city is the cradle of Yoruba civilization. Veronica Danik Boy reports. History is said to be a whole series of past events connected to a particular group of people and in the quest to connect to his past and deconstruct the history of the people, Professor Adisa Ogunfolakon led a team of archaeologists to unearth this iron smelting site in Ileife, Oshun State. Before the arrival of the Europeans, we have our technology. We have our way of life. Ife itself is, is an antiquity. There's nowhere you enter in Ife that you can't get any cultural materials. And we need to document this. We need to look at this so as to reconstruct our history. After a geophysical survey and two weeks of excavating layers of earth from two pits with different excavating tools, iron slats, burnt pipes, also known as Tierra fragments, were discovered at the site. Our father, they smelted iron. And when you look at this site, the preliminary investigation has shown that it is really an ancient site. Because the furnace they, 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 they use in smelting, it, the technology is one of the early iron technology in Africa. So I was so excited when I saw this. Some of this For over 30 years, Professor Gunfalako says he has been researching into the history of Ileife, visiting construction sites, and this discovery for him is groundbreaking. Till now, we are yet to get the age of Ife. Till now, we are yet to research into the real technology of Ife. I mean, look at the famous uh, Olokun hairs in Ife, the bronze hairs in Ife. When Leo Frobinos came here in 1910, he, he was saying that, you know, he, he, he did not believe that the Africans can do that because they have precision on that head. Although the source of the iron ore is yet unknown, archaeologists who are part of the team are concerned with dating the discoveries, which they say is a major constraint to the work being done. The end product of archaeology is more or less history. We want to write something about the cultural history of the people, but it must be put in proper temporal context. So that's where the issue of chronology comes in. So we collect samples for dating purposes. Unfortunately, in the West African subregion, we don't have a dating lab. It's capital intensive because you want to date a charcoal sample. If you want, depends on the time frame within which you want your date. If you want a date between 24 hours, that's $1,000. On a tour of the site, the Oni of Ife believes this discovery made on the land of his fathers is a testament to the city being the cradle of civilization. And my surname is Ogun Wusi. Ogun means a blacksmith. And that has been what we do in our family. And it's very evident now. I am very excited because it's display what my ancestors have been doing for many years. This will actually prove to the world that indeed civilization truly started from us. As a custodian of the Yoruba culture, Oba Ogunusi says this is an achievement he is willing to preserve for the generation yet unborn. This is a very good platform to start to date the kingdom of Ife. What we have discovered here is a big big achievement. A lot of people might not understand the multiply effect in terms of positive thought process for even the generation yet unborn. So we're going to build a monument and keep all these things for researchers all over the world to come to discover the Iron Age technology and the breakthrough of industrial park, industrial zone for iron technology for so many years. Ilaife is known for its ancient bronze, stone and terracotta sculpture dating back 1200 to 1400 AD, when artists were said to have developed a refined sculptural tradition believed to have been created under the patronage of the Yoruba patron deity of brass casting, King Obalufon II. But what does this recent discovery mean for the present generation? The answer may just wait a little longer for research to be completed. Veronica Danny Foy, 
TVC News.